All right, guys, welcome back. This is day 23, April 23rd. This is a Friday, and we are at day 23 of 30 80s metal riffs in 30 days. It's been a great journey so far, and today we're looking at the classic Dio song, We Rock. This came out in 1984 on the Last in Line album. Of course, the great, late, great Ronnie James Dio on vocals and red hot Vivian Campbell. He was smoking during this period of his career, those first couple of Dio records. So we're going to take a look at We Rock here, the intro riff in just a sec. If, uh, if you need the tab for this, make sure and check down below and you'll see um, a tab and guitar profile for this, um, as well as my free sweet picking guide, sweet picking boot camp. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Okay, so here we go. This is in the key of A minor. And let me just play it slow and then we'll start to break it down. Here we go. So what's going on is we have uh, we have the repeating section of the riff, and then basically two separate endings. Um, and this is the very intro part of the song here. And um, what I'll do is I'll show you the main idea. And there's a um, alternate picking, a lot of sixteenth note alternate picking going on here. Now I was playing that at a slow tempo on the demo. I'm playing at full tempo, and it's pretty cooking here. So. But for demonstration purposes, we'll go at a sort of a slow to medium tempo just to make sure everything's clear. So what I want to show you first is the uh, little chords. You're going to be pedaling a lot on the A note, on the, the fifth string A note open, muting that. But the chords that are happening are uh, as follows. So we have 10D, 9G, followed by 12D, 10G. That's a C to a D minor. But again, this is all with an A pedaling in the background, so it sounds like A minor. Next one is 9D, 7G. Back to the 10D, 9G. Next one is 7D, 5G. Up to 9D, 7G. Okay, that's the whole thing. So it would sound like this without the A pedaling, it sounds like this. Okay, notice at the end there has a little bit different rhythm. Um, and what's happening is at the beginning here, we're gonna play the little chord shape followed by four open A string. Then move that up to the next one and play like that so now we're going to move down 9 to 7 on the D and G 10 9 G and play 4 open A straight so so after each one of those first four chords we're playing four open A strings now when we get here 9 D 7 G we just played two open A strings after each chord and we continue on so that's the full uh, repeating part of the riff and a little quicker it sounds like So you're playing that three times and then you have the first ending. The first ending goes like this. Okay, that's super cool. It's a F5 power chord. Eighth fret, A string, 10th fret, D. 
Then move your index finger back to the seventh fret. Then move it back to the fifth fret. Then move it back up to the seventh fret while holding your pinky in the same place. And then go back to the eighth fret. And then back to the seventh fret. The whole time your pinky's holding down that tenth fret on the D string. Okay, super cool little um, section there. So together with the first part of the riff, you get this. Now, the second part of the riff is the same exact thing, but with a different ending. Simple on this one, we're just playing an F5 power chord. First fret low E, third fret A. Move that up a whole step to a G5. Third fret E, fifth fret A. E5 power chord, open E string, and second fret on the A string. And we play a C5 power chord. And then a G, uh, a G inversion, but we're not playing the root G here. We're playing it on the top of the chord. So basically you're just hearing but the chords are resolving to an A chord and that leads you right into the verse. So that's the whole riff, guys. Not too bad, just it's fast. But once you get the, um, the muting together, you can piece everything together, work your tempo up to speed, and you'll have it in no time. So let me play the whole thing uh, for you now, first at a medium tempo, and then I'll uh, attempt it at a little quicker tempo. Here we go. So make sure and grab that tab down below, free sweet picking guide down below. Make sure and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Rock on!